What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the Money Grand National Series. Oh, whoa, that is not what this is. Welcome back to the past series here on Fox Force 1. We are at Charlotte Motor Speedway getting ready to kick things off yet again. And unfortunately, I think I've already mentioned this, but um, yeah. Um, the past series will not be full time on Fox next season. We'll be going back to splitting schedule between speed the subscription based channel as well as the main fox force one or not main fox but fox force one here for the big events so so unfortunately unfortunate that has to be that way but it's what it is um yeah In this universe there is no math tv Sorry, got distracted. Uh, anyway, coming to the green flag. The green flag is waving. We're racing from Charlotte Motor Speedway. Three wide already in the one and two. That's this event. I guess I should have gotten into this before the race, but this event was brought to us due to Concord being deemed unsafe for the past series. Now, for whatever reason, they're sending the modifies there anyway, but it's a much smaller field, so I guess they can handle it. But the weird angles and the way that pit wall just jets out, they didn't want these guys going there. Uh, the modified drivers have proven to be a lot cleaner, and they're kind of forced to be that way with just how the cars are made, so they're a lot more careful. They can easily wheel hop and lead the disaster, which is why they're obviously a lot more cleaner, but uh, yeah, Ian Slager out in front just trying to run away with it, his Red Bull buddy, Scott Speed, up in the second, Speed won at Nashville a couple weeks ago, or about a month or so ago now, uh, almost a month ago, never mind, I don't know when this video is dropping, this is a I think this is actually supposed to be before Iowa, not after. But anyway, um, yeah, Slager running away. We've got some big time battles happening behind them now. The 09 of John West Townley trying to pin down that 99 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is able to do so successfully. Just clears out in front of that 99 car. Now here comes the one of Tommy Hester. Stenhouse jumped down in front of that one car. I think the two of speed isn't up to speed, and that's why everybody's getting held up behind them. Look at the racing we have here. Big block. Couldn't quite work for the 09 of Townley, but I think it's going to work in his favor because he ran that higher line and got some pretty good grip up there. This track is freshly repaved, revamped with yellow walls, but still races quite the same. Looks like the bottom seems to be the preferred line, but that middle groove seems to have, have some grip coming through as well here. So that'll be something to keep an eye on as the track progresses and wears over time. Stenhouse with a run back up to that middle lane. Seems like he's found the grip up there. It's very interesting how the middle line seems to have grip. That seems why nobody seems to be why nobody can get past that two machine because Scott Speed right there in the middle pinning these guys down but I think John West Townley might have something to say about that he's trying to get his nose underneath Side yet again. Can he get there? I think he's going to get him this time by, or maybe not. 
Speed, he's gonna back off. A little too high up there on the racetrack. Couldn't quite get the grip. And I think they found a limit here. Here comes the 46 of Matt Carter. Underneath now. Speed back down. Able to pinch these guys down through the corner. Carter with a push from the one of Hesser. This track is basically flat out. I mean, it's not completely flat out, depending on which line you run, but it's basically flat out. So you want to stay in the throttle as much as you can. And that's why you see, see the middle lane with so much more grip for whatever reason seeming to be the preferred line. These guys able to carry more permit uh, momentum. Oh, 09 able to stay behind or stay in front rather of that two machine this time by. Uh oh, is that a lapped car? No. How did I end up watching Olga? Olga. Anyways, let's switch the cameras up a little bit. Because here comes the 09 of John West Townley with a run to the rear bumper that that McDonald's, or wow, McDonald's, that Monster Energy Machine. Ian Slager now. Uh, Zaxby's. Now. You might see the 09 Zaxby's machine and be thinking, huh, Joey Clanton. No, this is John West Townley. His father, uh, Mike Townley, I think, owns or started Zaxby's. So he's also got that sponsorship. So Joey Clanton is a franchise owner in Zaxby's. So these guys may or may not know each other, but it's interesting to see that Zaxby's sponsorship in racing. And Chris Mack is from Georgia. He loves Zaxby's. That's one of his favorite restaurants. So, be interesting to see if, because uh, I know they're they're probably I know they're talking behind the scenes. Uh, Mack, Townley, and Clayton talking behind the scenes here. We might see Zaxby's come aboard that '97 machine. It'll be very interesting to see. So these two drivers, both boards as well. Basically treating each other like teammates as we got one stopped on the inside of the racetrack. Can he get that thing fired back up? Is Brian Refner, can he get that fired up and out of the way? No, he cannot. He's going to have to get a tow. And will that bring out the caution? I don't think it will. He's out of the way now. So we're going to keep it green here from Charlotte. Surprisingly, that was not a caution with him stopped right at the bottom of the racetrack. We're gonna keep it green. Ian Slager's lead is vanishing though as we speak. Slager, Town, uh, Townley, 
Hesser, your top three closing in on each other at the halfway point in this brace. Halfway here from Charlotte. In the top three under a blanket. Caution is out. And I'm not sure if it's for an incident or if we might have debris. I think it might be potential oil at the bottom of the track where that car came where the 66 car came to a stop so yeah looks like they're finally going to do something about that I'm gonna clean that up I don't see any other reason for a caution here other than that yeah that's that's it so we're gonna have a late race restart here less than 15 to go this will definitely be interesting and pretty wild the green flag is in the air John West Townley is out in front looking for the lead here through one and two he's gonna take it clears Lager, Hesser side by side. We've got some three wide action back here. Jesus Hernandez in the middle. The 60 of Shelter did have a run at first. Ran out of grip. Couldn't keep the car down and had to let off the gas. He's going to lose a ton of spots here as he lost a ton of momentum through the corner. Now coming off of turn two. Yet again. Or turn four rather. Top three, now make that top four all under a blanket here. Slager with a great run through one and two. Can he get past that 09 car? He's gonna pull out a line. Got his nose in there, can he keep it there? Entering the corner, can he force that 09 to enter the corner a little higher than he'd like to? Yes, he does. Slager going back to the point off of turn number four, side by side for the race lead. Ian Slager is gonna Clear the 09 of Townley. Townley, though, with a good arc back into the corner. Comes to one of Hesser with a run as Townley comes back to the inside. Hesser trying to figure out where he wants to go. He's going to follow that 09 car. Made the wrong choice in doing that because Slager able to use that middle lane to pin down the 09 and retake the lead. Just a handful of laps left. Here comes Hessert now, looking low on the 09. Can he do anything with it? No. Hessert backs out of it. Slager now driving away as the second and third place cars go side by side. Townley with a great run through the corner. Clears the one. Here comes the 99 of Stenhouse. Man, that lane in the middle making it very hard for these guys to pass. As we try and finish this off just a handful of laps left
Hesert's in house underneath Hesert. Almost cleared him. Hesert trying to fight back. He's going to be cleared as the caution is out. Late race caution. Means we're going to have a late race restart in a. If anything, if that last restart said anything, we're going to have a pretty close battle here at the end. Let's see what brought out the caution, though. Looks like it might have been the five of Bobby Gerhardt bringing it out. Let's see what happened to him here. Oh, yeah, that car just died on him. Man, it came to a stop off turn number two. He could not get back around. Now will bring out the caution. So money car officials did see it this time by past series officials rather did see it this time by and we're able to throw the caution uh-oh green flag back in the air and I guess uh, this was not meant to be a 36 lap race I think it might have been actually a 30 lap race but it is what it is green flag is out yet again Townley didn't get his great of a jump as he did last time here comes Stenhouse here comes Scott Speed back into the mix Speed trying to get up there and have a shot at winning this thing here comes Stenhouse tried to get underneath that 97 couldn't quite white flag in the air one lap to go here from Charlotte Motor Speedway the 99 the 2 the 09 all right there Stenhouse has a run does he have a big enough run to get to that 97 machine? He's trying to get to the inside. Slager defends. Speed tries to make something work. Slid up the racetrack. It's going to be all Ian Slager. He's going to win at Charlotte. He did a great job playing defense here. That's all it was. There were many cars that were faster than that 97 machine. But Slager was able to hang on and win the race. Did a great job playing defense here. That's going to do it. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. We'll see you all next time. And until then, peace.